Hey guys, welcome to Rach Talk, my weekly show where I sit here at the office, drink caffeine, talk about good things, hard things, random things, show you some tricks for life. Today, we're gonna talk about confidence and some things that you can do to have more of it in your life. And also, this is one of my favorite segments of all time. It's called Rach Tries, where for as long as Jack and I have been hanging out together making videos, which is like five or six years, I think, I try random things that may or may not work. And today, I'm gonna try opening bottles of wine without a wine opener. Okay, everyone. Um, I don't know if I talked about in the last video how bad my roots were. But it got my hair dead. I don't know about y'all, but I go so long in between appointments that my hairstylist is always upset with me. Always. <laughs> You know, because I have extensions. You know I have extensions. This is not all, like, me, right? They don't really add length, they just add, like, zhuzh. Because my hair is very fine, very flat, and so it just, like, gives me a little zhuzhy. Hair extensions are expensive, okay? And it's a splurge, and it's a luxury. I don't know how often, like, fancy celebrity people get their hair extensions done. I hold out as long as, I mean, by the time I go back to her, my they're like grown out to here. And she's like, you are gonna rip these out of your head. You know what? We gotta stretch it out. We gotta budget this hair. This is a lot. I have my hair done and it is a freaking process. We got cut, we got color, we got extensions, we got the whole deal. This is hours long, Jack. So I played a lot of words with friends, as you know. Remember last week when I told you that I've been playing words with friends with the boyfriend's mom? I played the word, <laughs> so terrible. I played the word titty <laughs> against this mom. It was, I had three T's and like three I's. I had to, I had to make a choice. God bless her because I sent her a message and I was like, I am mortified that I just played this word against you. And she's like, well, I'm mortified I didn't have an S because I couldn't turn it into titties. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes! What does all this have to do with anything? I just want to tell you the story about my hair getting done. And also, how much better I always feel when I have my hair done. We all have our stuff. Like my two best girlfriends are not into hair or makeup or nails or any of it, but they have things, they have personal style, they have outfits that they rock or hats that they wear that make them feel fantastic. And I think what's so cool is understanding, the older you get, really understanding what it is that's gonna make you feel like the best version of you. What is the thing that's gonna make you feel great? And I look back on style that I've had over the years as I tried to learn what my personal style was. I didn't really learn until I was in my mid-30s. That's the truth. We've all been there, right? You have a moment, you know, maybe this is the one occasion where it's not a twist off cap, you got a cork in your wine bottle and you need to get it open. How the heck are you gonna do it without a wine opener? We're gonna find out. I've got some ideas from the interwebs and you and I are gonna see if they actually work. So first up, a knife, uh, a spoon. Oh, is this like you're pushing it down in? Wild, okay, so in this case, it's suggesting that I can take this spoon and press so hard on this cork that it's gonna go down in the wine, which isn't ideal, but if you just need access to that wine, um, you it's like a ship in a bottle and you can just like keep drinking the wine. This feels very distressing when I'm wearing a white shirt. Let's see, shall we? my throat and in my eye. Oh, I'm so sad. I have a date tonight. I was gonna wear this, I was gonna wear this makeup. Huh, why did I wear a white tank in my favorite denim jacket? I have my hair's gonna smell 
I like wine for a week. Okay, that one works. Son of a gun. Now I'm afraid. Next, fire. I'm afraid now. I'm standing back here, bro. Feels safe to be around alcohol and flames. Starting to smell weird. So what's gonna happen? The heat from the flame is gonna make the cork rise. Like it's going to one of my conferences. Oh, I do see that the cork itself is like schmooing upwards towards the light, but I don't have all day. So this one, I'm gonna go negatory. Doesn't work. I guess what I wanted to talk about today was the idea of confidence and understanding that feeling confident in yourself, in your abilities or the way that you look has so much to do with actually getting to know who you are and showing up as that version of yourself. And it's not always easy. Like I've tried all sorts of things over the years in this quest to understand who I was. Like remember the time when I like had the really long nails? The thing was, I still look at them sometimes and I'm like, I love those nails. I'm never gonna have them again. There was a time where I had really intense lashes and super red hair and like short hair and long hair. And I've tried a little bit of everything in this quest to discover who I am. And once you find stuff that really makes you feel great, you can lean into that. What I think is so interesting now is that anytime I step out of that, like, I love the way high heels look on people. I think they are so beautiful. I see women in high heels like on a red carpet or at a photo shoot and I'm like, that looks amazing. It's not for me, it's not. I am past the place in my life where I will show up as a different version of myself. Third option. Okay, we're gonna use a screwdriver. We're gonna stab this down into the cork and then we're gonna shimmy it on out. Now I'm afraid. I feel like I'm afraid I'm gonna push it down like the last one, it's gonna explode again. Oh. <laughs> Why am I making weird sounds? No, this one doesn't work either. Lastly, this feels like a great idea. I'm gonna take a shoe with a rubber face. I'm gonna put this in here, zip it up for safety, and then I'm gonna slam it repeatedly on a hard surface, and then that, I've actually seen someone do this before. It's like T-Rex is coming. this works I've seen it I don't care enough to try I don't I don't care I'm covered in red wine my favorite tank is ruined my denim jacket maybe too I my hair smells I ruined my date makeup the lesson for today is if you don't have a wine opener it is because God did not want you to drink today Having confidence in who you are and having the courage to show up as that person is, it's not a trait, it's a skill. It's a skill that you can acquire. It's a muscle that you can work out over and over until it feels more comfortable. So I just wanna encourage you guys to pursue things that make you feel more like yourself. And if you're not sure what that is, try stuff out. With confidence in yourself, you can pull off anything, but you're never gonna know what it is you love if you won't allow yourself to kind of test things out and see what's for you. I remember for years wanting to get extensions and I just kept thinking, well, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who does that. I'm a mom, like I'm a wife, like, uh, who am I to like get hair extensions? That's for like 20 year old pop stars. And then I just kept thinking about it over and over and I was finally like, you know what? I'm whoever I wanna be. And if I can save up the money and I can afford this thing, then I'm gonna splurge on this for myself. Whatever it is, crap, man. I hope the last 18 months have taught us that a lot of the things we used to think were so important actually just don't matter. You get one chance at this life, best thing you can do is show up as yourself.
All right, y'all, let's have a conversation. You tell me the thing that makes you feel the most confident in the world. Comment below, encourage each other, spread some love. Let's keep the positivity going. And if you like the show, subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring that little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new episode. And until I see you next time, I want you to remember, I love you and I'm rooting for you. <laughs>